Today, I'll show you how to do your Netcoins crypto taxes. Hello, my name is Nelly. Welcome back to another wallet integration video. Today, we're talking about Netcoins and specifically how to do your crypto taxes with the help of Coinly. So I'll tell you a little bit about them. Then I'll show you the integration part of this video. And then lastly, I'll show you how to get the necessary tax documentation. And finally, if you have any comments, questions, concerns, bunch of resources down below. So yeah, without further ado, let's jump into it. So Netcoins was founded in 2014 and it's based out of Vancouver, Canada. They have a lot of the standard uh, trading features that you would expect from an exchange of this caliber. The most interesting feature to me that stands out is Netcoins Pay, which allows you to earn Bitcoins on your transactions. So I'm really curious to see if more exchanges will start offering things like this, but it's really cool to see um, you know, a different way to earn Bitcoins. But yeah, let's uh, jump into the integration part of this video now. Okay, so first step as always, log into your Coinly account. If you don't have one, you can create one completely free and follow along until the very end. Then you're gonna head over into your wallets area and you're gonna click on add wallet. And then we're going to find um, Netcoins. And there it is. As you can see, there's no API option at the moment. So we're gonna do the import from file and I'll show you where to get that CSV file on their platform. Okay, after you've signed into the Netcoins platform, click the gear in the top right corner. Then from this settings menu, we're gonna click on my documents. And then from my documents page, we're gonna scroll to the bottom of the page and click the connect with Coinly SSO button. So on their platform in the top right corner, you're gonna click the little cog that you see and then you're gonna click on my documents. And then here you're gonna select transactions. You're gonna select a date range. So if you've been using this platform for many years, make sure to get all of your information into Coinly from the first transaction you made to whatever tax year or tax season you're doing. And then you're gonna go into transaction type. You're gonna select all of them, of course. And then asset type, select the ones that you're dealing with. Um, I'm just gonna select a few random ones here. It's not really relevant for me. Um, but you're gonna select the ones that you're using and you're gonna click apply filters and then you're gonna come back and your transactions will be loaded here. And then the top right corner, you're gonna click export uh, and then you're gonna take the file that says Coinly 2022 and click export. And there you have it, simple as that. Take that file, drag and drop it into Coinly, click import and you're done. So once your information is imported into Coinly, you can head over into the transactions area to see underneath the hood uh, what's going on, making sure everything is sitting right with you. Also making sure that you've tagged some of your staking, you know, send to pool, send from pool. I've made videos on that. If you're interested, definitely check them out on this channel. And then once you're happy with that, go into your tax reports area for one final summary of all your crypto activity throughout the year. And then once you're happy with everything that you see here, you can scroll on down and select a tax report appropriate for your needs. And we have plenty of different reports. So for the US, we have the IRS Schedule D Form 8949. You can also export to TurboTax both online and desktop versions. We have reports for UK, Sweden, Norway, France, Switzerland, Australia, and then Canada, Germany, and other countries. We have the complete tax report, which keep in mind is a document you can print off and give directly to your accountant and they will combine it with your other tax documentation or alternatively, you can invite them to Coinly to set up their accounts firm here with us. And then lastly, what I tell everyone is check your country's rules and regulations because this tax report might be deductible. But that'll do it for today's video. I hope you found it useful. If you still have questions, I'll leave a bunch of different resources down below, starting off with the Coinly Help Center with countless different crypto tax related articles. We have a feedback section if you're having any issues with our software. And then we have a forum section if you wanna to talk to members of our community as well as our staff. And then lastly, if all fails, we have a contact section and you can message us directly and we'd love to help you out. But I do hope you found this video helpful. If you did, consider dropping a like, subscribing for more crypto content, and I'll see you next time. Peace.